Business Center Heavy Civil Edition has some great tools for elevating data and information that you may get from a CAD file. What I'm going to show you here is how to elevate a bunch of lines using a text and or intersecting leader line. Just to give you some background, this file that I have imported into Business Center is a CAD file. It's actually a Civil 3D drawing or and in that drawing these green lines you see here were feature lines or are feature lines and then these are labels that were uh, associated to those feature lines. When I brought it in and actually exported it out of several 3D, what happened was the 2D or the feature lines became 2D lines and the lines for the leaders actually have the correct elevation. So what we need, need to do here is we need to elevate this information to these leader lines. And it's fairly simple. There's a couple different ways of doing it, but I'm just going to go to the lines command under the data prep tab. So this command is actually tied to the data prep module. You can see there's different ways to place or get the information for the uh, vertical point of intersection. I can use text, I can use text and leader line, I can use a point, or I can use intersecting lines. In this case I'm using intersecting lines, but you could do text and leader line and then you'll have some options. You can see here that this one doesn't have a prefix, this one does. So I could l elevate all the top of curves first and then all the ones without the top of curve elevation. But because this blue line or cyan line here intersects these, inter uh, these points, I'm gonna elevate based off of, those, um, uh, off of those lines. So you can put an offset tolerance in there, you can set a base elevation but you actually pick the intersecting lines and the lines that you want to elevate. So I'm going to do this by selecting simply by layer. Um, this is easy because the way the data is all on one layer, I'm going to pick that. And we're going to say those are the intersecting lines. And then the lines I want to elevate are these lines. So I'll pick the feature lines. They're all on the same layer. And we'll go ahead and hit close. And then we'll hit apply. Now that'll take a second, but you'll see over here in my right screen, or my right 3D view, is that the information uh, or the 3D lines will be elevated. Now there's going to be a couple that it misses but when you actually look closer at them it's because they don't have any elevation. So if we were to take a look at these points that you see here that didn't get elevated you can see as I zoom in that there is no elevation for it to go to so you're going to have to just manually adjust those uh, as needed. But the rest of the information you can see has been elevated and to verify it if I came in here and selected this line and then go to um, actually let's, yeah let's pick that one and we'll go right click and we'll edit we'll edit that line switch over to the vertical tab and you can see we get a a label so we got 608 631 it actually he's taking it out to the uh, better decimal place so because the label's been rounded we're actually getting the true uh, value or significant digit carried out so you can see it goes around and elevates uh, those lines. So now it becomes a line string that we can edit, manipulate, uh, add in, change, move around, edit, whatever you need to do to it. So I can go pick those other ones. And what's nice about Business Center is I can pick this line here. And if I select it in this view, I can see where in here it actually is. So I can come over here and if we right click and edit that one, I can come in and actually edit the elevation for this point here just simply by coming in and changing the, the elevation. So if I was to select that point, change the elevation and save it, then it would take on that elevation. So here you can see it's actually picking up some additional vertices within that line. Now it did elevate all the intersecting ones. It's got the top and the back. So I just got to pick the face of curb and drop it down whatever my curb elevation is. So that would just be a matter of using the tool up here for changing elevation and change it either by a delta, absolute, or undefined elevation. But in the end, very quickly I can get a lot of data elevated in a fairly short amount of time inside of Business Center. Now I can take these feature lines and build a surface from it.